So I hate and I was like, the only reason Nigel hired Nigel is because Nigel take a wrong turn into Nigel's office. You understand? Because in no way he the hiring he on purpose. This is an accidental hiring. So he make a wrong turn into the man office and he must be shamed. He's like, let me just hire he. Because after all, Nigel think that Nigel can't come. So why would Nigel hire Nigel for defend him in court if there's a court case or to investigate anything? Nigel, you're not you're not scared that Nigel might not not do the the counting correctly in all these things. Dude, what happened to all you um high profile attorneys? What, what, what I'm telling them, none of them want the case. What a shy out on your ass. So now you had to go and find different defense. Oh, all right. We get Viewers and subscribers, welcome to Guyanese News, where we discuss news about Guyana and the diaspora. And today, we have some more news about the embattled local government minister, Nigel Daliram. But before we start off, people, please smash the subscribe button, leave a thumbs up, help this YouTube channel go to 10,000 subscribers so the world would know Guyana exists. Right now, the local government minister, Darim Lal, is in serious, serious trouble. We got a video where Darim Lal brother is explaining the whole situation and what is taking place. Before we play that video, this is a very interesting clip. Every guy needs need to see. You need to watch this video to the end. So you will hear Darim Lal brother explaining. But before we do that, Darim Lal, the embattled local government minister, was placed on $1 million bail and released for a thorough investigation. But what is taking place? People on the other side of the political spectrum is very disappointed that the minister was not taken for 72 hours and spent the night in lockup like they usually do when arresting someone for such outrageous charges. So people want to know if because this is a minister is above the law and is going to be released same day that he was arrested. Well, this is Guyana. So things go. Money talk, everything work. But before that, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel so you will be a part of all the happenings. Check out this video with Daimnal Brother explaining everything. This is Guyanese News. So if the Irfan Ali government wants to keep this person on and have this baggage, um, that's on them. But it's I, I read the statement that of the, the girl's statement. It's very disturbing. Um, uh, now we've had this discussion about a year ago the same discussion here and he said that he's not going to tolerate such in his government and that the person should make a police report well I, I apparently the, the girl took some lawyers and, and was willing to press charges file criminal charges however however I was told that one of our lawyers squealed to the ministers, a couple of female ministers who called the girl in with an education officer and arranged a meeting with, with the, the minister in question. And then he offered the girl's family, went down on knees and so on, I was told, and paid them $10, $10 million. That's what I was told. So now the matter is hanging. Now we don't know where it's going to go unless the, this, this opposition, that's why... We need a strong girl opposition. We need a stronger opposition to pursue these things. They should have this thing should have been dealt with over a year ago. Opposition is so weak and it's now on their onus to pursue this matter and to seek justice and to prevent these instances. This is a new instance. This happened in last December now. Um, during this Christmas time, Amerindian Affairs Ministry toy drive and all of that, that's when the encounters happened. And this individual has a dark side and does not belong in government. We all have our dark sides. We all have our, um, have our, have our vices with, uh, uh, with us, about us. And 
but we should not hold government, we should not hold an esteemed office when um, we have these inclinations to want to have such uh, relationships with people and young people and all of that scandals. Um, this is coming from me living here in the diaspora. That's just my thought. I'm not for any party, mind you. Um, but it really disturbed me last year the, when another person reached out to me and said that they were one of his victims. And then now this girl here, a year, about a year later, I spoke to a minister, a, a minister last year about it and they knew who I was talking about without even saying it. Uh, people in the party knows what kind of person he is, yes, this person is, right? People in the party know. Um, but I, I, I'm saying again, this person does not belong in the, uh, in, in the realms of government. They should be removed, they should step aside um, because uh, their vice will allow them to do it again. Um, the integrity of the government is at stake. I know the Irfan Ali administration does not want this on their head for 2025. They don't want to deal with this head on. So uh, they might find some ways to um, deal with it underhandedly and um, amicably with the girl's family. Um, things like that's the way it went with the well based on what i was told but guys um if i see any one of you post selfies with this individuals when he comes to new york or even in guyana i think i'm gonna block you all because i can't tolerate this kind of nonsense this kind of behavior from government officials as i said we're all human beings right we all have our needs we all have our um we we're, we're we are sexual humans. We all have our sexual needs and wants and desires. Um, sometimes it takes a turn for the worse with, and becomes very dark, as I believe this individual is. Um, and it becomes a, a, an addiction, a vice. And um, so uh, it's uh, when it becomes like that, no, you can't be, be in government anymore. You have to relinquish your position and because you're going to be traveling the country, you're going to be interacting with people, girl, children, and maybe boy children too, because he seemed to have a penchant for backdoor Santa Claus. But uh, the, they need to bell the cat. The opposition needs to be stronger. And I am so disappointed. I have no faith at all in this opposition from the leader down. Um, so that's my take on it. I'm a very neutral person. I call it as it is. The opposition is weak, but the government has to do something as well with this individual. Um, I, I hope and pray that his colleagues talk some sense into him. Um, you cannot do this and be and hold government and hold power. You cannot. I'm not sure that's just going to happen this time around again. It's going to be swept again under he's going to continue in the position more is going to happen and the opposition in its weakness will not be able to do a thing again about it so viewers and subscribers leave your comment in the comment section and let the country know what is your opinion about this serious allegation that was made against the minister the way how things shaping up right now seem like the minister is guilty but we can't take social media as evidence the police is going to do a thorough investigation without malice, without favor. They are going to do an investigation to protect the young people them in Guyana. So leave your comment in the comment section. Do you think it was right for the minister to be released four hours after being arrested? Or we should have spent a 72 hours? Because we know if the minister on the road there is a high probability, a high chance where they could tamper with the witness and the victim, the alleged victim. That is one of the reasons why the police just keep you in custody so you cannot get in contact to try to persuade the victim. By saying that, social media, boards, and news that is circulating right now is that a very high-ranking police officer who is stationed in Essequibo was trying
to sweep this case under the rug. So that is what is taking place. A high-ranking member, serving member, the commander of Esequibo was trying to sweep this case with the minister under the rug by trying to intimidate and coerce the victim, the alleged victim, according to social media report. So people is calling for an independent inquiry. Not the police should investigate this. The police should do them investigation while there is a special prosecutor investigating this case because we know politics just play a big part in this high profile case. So leave your comment and if you feel the FBI or the CIA or some other international organization concerning police should come and investigate this matter or we could deal with it locally. This is Guyanese News. Like, subscribe and share.